We're breaking down the 2019 All-American team just unveiled today by PFF. This video presented to you by our friends over at Eckrich and Cam. Let's kick it right off with the offensive side of the ball. Quarterback position, no-brainer. It's Joe Burrow from LSU. No-brainer whatsoever. The highest-graded quarterback, wherever you look at any of our advanced metrics, this guy has the Heisman locked up, has the Tigers riding high, and even possibly with a loss in the SEC title game, still sneaks into the college football playoff. That's just how good Burrow's been this year. Yeah, Justin Fields from Ohio State, runner-up there, honorable mention for us, but Joe Burrow took the cake. Out of the running back position, Zach Moss of Utah and Clemson's Travis Etienne, hotly contested, but those two guys in a per-touch basis were insane. Per touch basis, I think that's exactly what the metric is. So you look at how many tackles they've broken per carry and whenever they touch the ball. They both broke the record previously set by David Montgomery, now doing big things in the NFL. Moss was going to break it and set it. ETN comes out of nowhere, qualifies by getting the ball 150 plus times and 45% of his carries, he broke a tackle. ETN was just dominant, so was Moss. Yeah, he is a freak of nature and Zach Moss, they both break tackles at a rate we really haven't seen before. On to the wide receiver position where we got some young guys here. Jamar Chase of LSU, only a sophomore. Louisville's Tutu Atwell, only a sophomore as well. And then junior Oklahoma wide receiver C.D. Lamb round out our top three. Yeah, C.D. Lamb likely, I think you said it, a likely a better all-around prospect than his former teammate Marquise Brown. Lamb does it everywhere. Truly the best player when he steps on the field and is healthy. Jamar Chase benefiting hugely from Joe Burrow, but does it across all the routes, across the entire route tree. And Tutu Atwell may be one of the faster players that nobody knows about. This guy burns defenders with a simple quick step. Doesn't have to force a lot of missed tackles at all because he's simply beating them with his routes and benefited a lot from Mikhail Cunningham throwing the ball. Yeah, for sure. They're onto the tight end position where it's FAU's Harrison Bryant was the you know, basically the primary target in that FAU offense this year. He really was. And I think what sets him apart, his receiving numbers are very good, his receiving grades very good, but he was the highest graded run blocker and stayed into pass protect over 150 times and did not allow a sack or a quarterback hit. That sets him apart as a full tight end. That run blocking grade, a big step forward from him from what we've seen in the past. Nice to see there from a draft perspective out of the offensive line where Penny Sewell, Kevin Dotson, Tyler Biotish, Wyatt Davis, and Josh Jones round out our top five, but the one guy who stands above the rest, Penny Sewell, only a sophomore, doing things we really haven't seen at the tackle position. Yeah, he was the highest graded true freshman tackle we've ever had a year ago. Came back after injury, didn't look the same in the bowl game against Michigan State. Came back this year completely healthy and is challenging now for the highest grade we've ever given for a tackle in a full season. There's the offensive side of the ball. Let's kick it to defense, where defensive line, not a lot of surprise with a couple of names here. Chase Young of Ohio State on the edge. Chris Rumpf from Duke on the edge as well. And then Jordan Elliott from the zoo. Defensive interior, Derek Brown from Auburn. Brown and Young, no surprises. Yeah, Young, I mean, record-setting figures across the board. Rumpf comes out of nowhere, though, and a guy who I really like going forward here. Sets the 2019 record, winning over 50% of his pass rushes in a single game. Nobody yeah. that had over 20 pass rushes in a single contest did such a thing. Yeah, he kind of plays this hybrid role there for Duke where he's off ball some, running around at the snap, but when he goes one-on-one -on -one against offensive linemen, usually he wins. On to the linebacker position where we have Micah Parsons from Penn State, absurdly high run defense grade from him in Wyoming's Logan Wilson. Yeah, if you look at Wilson, you really need to just watch a simple Wyoming game to see him jump off the tape, mm -hmm. off the page. Only player in the country with elite grades in the run game pass game and in the pass rush as well. Didn't matter where he was doing it, a true three down guy. Yeah, he is gonna be at the Senior Bowl. Look forward to watching him down in Mobile. Let's kick it to the cornerback position though, where we have a true freshman in Derek Stingley Jr. from LSU making the team, along with Amik Robertson from LA Tech. Yeah, Robertson gets all the plays, makes all the plays, he's a true ball hawk. But I think one of the most underrated skills of a defensive back is to have a quick memory. Derek Stingley, Rough game against Alabama, gets burned a couple of times, however you want to look at it there, but quickly moved on and down the, the, the last half of their season, last three games of the season, Stingley locked down, allowing just a, a single catch in each game going forward, actually, actually locked down. Yeah, as a freshman there, outgrading teammate Christian Fulton. He's gonna be a special player coming down the line here, but let's kick it to the safety position and our flex position where Antoine Winfield from Minnesota, seven picks on the year. He makes the squad. Julian Blackman out of Utah, converted cornerback, first year at safety, not bad, making the All-American team. And then Trayvon Diggs coming back from injury. He makes the flex spot for us. Monster year there for the Crimson Tide. And Diggs, similar situation as Stingley 
gets a little bit toasted by Jamar Chase in the Alabama LSU matchup, but comes back and again limits everybody for the rest of the season. Even that Auburn game was great in coverage as well. But yeah, Blackman transitioning to safety first full time when he was tested in coverage, you could really see the CB skills come out mm -hmm. in him. He is he is locked down as well. Well, there you have it. There's PFF's All American team presented to you by our friends over at Eckrich. Make sure to head to PFF.com. Check out Cam's full breakdown of the entire roster. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.